Uh, hi, Aslan. Congratulations. I mean, just how does it feel after such an epic win? It must feel like one of your best career wins. Uh, thank you very much. Yeah, it was a tricky match, really tricky match, especially in the start of the beginning of the match. Uh, and I couldn't find the rhythm. The Yeah, it, everything was different compared to Sydney. I just arrived and I had just one practice session. And uh, yeah, different condition. I played uh, outdoor, there I play indoor under the roof. So I think it was, uh, <coughs> it takes me time to get uh, into the game, to, to, to find the key, because it was not easy, nothing was works. And uh, yeah, so I tried to play as simple as I can. But again, it was a lot of mistakes, unforced errors, but still I was uh, keep trying, keep trying. And uh, it was a long match, five sets, but in the end, I'm happy with the win. Mm. And you, uh, as you say, at the start, you were 6-3, three, three love down. Was it more difficult mentally or physically to keep going in five hours? Uh, I think it wasn't difficult to go five hours. It's not the the mindset you you think like you think you you have to find the key the solution for your game to to try to win the second set and then you know just keep keep uh, keep going every point you think like uh, okay next point next point and then uh, somehow i found the uh, the rhythm in the second set and then uh, the third set was a lot of break points on his game and then i was leading on my service game also losing so it's just about like uh, keep going. So that's the most important part was. And then uh, the third set, I was a little bit getting crazy. And uh, it was emotions, uh, talking to myself too much and uh, yeah, not focusing on my game. And you mentioned Sydney, you had that epic match with Dan Evans. You had the epic match today, just wondered. What, what makes you so strong in these types of matches, the really long kind of up and down matches? What makes you so strong? Uh, I don't know. I just keep trying to to find any solution. So if, for example, the things are not working my way, I try to find the other way just to to win the match. So... I, was, I don't care if I I don't feel the ball or something like this, but in the end I want to win, so I have to find any solution or key, the right key for, for the match. So I just want to win. Huh? Mm. Might be a bit general, but you obviously reached the semi-finals here last year. You, you've just got the title in Sydney. You won this epic match here. What What's it about playing in Australia that you feel so good? I like to play here. Uh, Especially beginning of the year, you're fresh. Uh, I did uh, good preparation with my team. Here I'm with a fitness coach. The tennis coach is in uh, Barcelona right now. Um, yeah, I think it's uh, start of the year. You're fresh, good mood, good energy. So I think it's uh, this is the reason I would say. Mm -hmm. And I know you've been asked a lot about last year, but how are you handling the the thoughts, the pressure of those semi-final points, or are they not in your mind? I mean, I, I wish to defend every Grand Slam semi-final or even more, just to arrive to Grand Slam and to think, oh, I have to defend. <laughs> but uh, yeah, just playing every match, so you have to win, you have to play your game. First of all, you have to played what you were practicing so and then we'll see what's going on on the course so uh i'm not i'm trying not to think about that yeah mm -hmm. and just in general on 2021 when people mention it um what's kind of highlights what's the main memory that pops in your head when when people talk about your run to the semi-finals last year because you get asked about it a lot. I just wondered what's the main memory, the best memory that pops into your head. You mean to, uh, on the match? Or? It can be anything from last year in Melbourne. The, it was a tough match against Ali Asim, 2-0 mm -hmm. down. Yeah. And that was a really tough mentally, physically. So I think this, that I'll keep this one.
Mm-hmm. Um, I could be wrong, but I believe you're where that came from. Can you repeat, please? Yeah, we just lost you there. Sorry, Alex, um, could you repeat the question? Uh, uh, sorry, it could be my London Wi-Fi. Um, just your nickname, I believe, is The Lion. I just wondered where that came from, how you became to be called Lion. Uh, it's a lion in, in, in uh, Turkey, but uh, in my language, it doesn't mean lion. So it's just from the grandfather, the grand grandfather. So it's then my father decided to call me Aslan. So, yeah. Okay. Um, and I think you said you're, you've got a new coach. Is there a new coach in Barcelona? Is that yeah, I was, try- I was uh, trying the, uh, the base there in Forslan. And I tried uh, coach Gabi, and I was working with him a few weeks, and it was not time enough to prepare the visa to make him to come to Australia. So we will do the few tournaments after Australia, and then uh, yeah, I'll I'll be with him in the uh, few tournaments after Australia, and then uh, yeah, we'll see. But I did a preparation in four slums, so I'm really happy with the base, and yeah, really really nice place everything is there so it's a great atmosphere i really appreciate for this uh, academy that uh, gave me the opportunity to practice there last one yeah. Alex. And possible? yeah thanks sure. just with all your success here in australia and going up the rankings and this long match today i just wondered your kind of belief that you, when you're down in matches now you you feel that you could always come through you've got that kind of in the back of your mind, you've got enough to get through. As I said again, you don't think about it. So the, there is emotions, there is a small gap to think like what's going on on the match. So you're just thinking what's going to happen in the ne- next point. So you don't really focus on what's going to happen in the future. But yeah, I try to just, it's not easy. It looks maybe it's easy, but uh, I tried just to focusing on the game. And not to think like what's gonna happen if I lose or something like that. Uh, well, congratulations and thanks for your time. Thank you very much.